All right, people, it's Sprat here, and today I'm going to do a look back at probably one of my most memorable montages, you could say. This one is called Example 4, and this dropped, I think, like, August 2013, maybe? So, you know, we're, we're slowly creeping up on two years old, which is crazy to think about it, but I just thought I'd have a look back and talk about it, and uh, we'll see how, you know, we'll see how good it is now. So, um, hope you enjoy, and before we get into it, as always, make sure you check out G2A in the description, and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you really quickly. This video is probably gonna make you miss the DSR. Like if you don't play Black Ops 2 anymore, like I don't play it now, but I'm I still miss the DSR after watching this. So I'm watching any old video, like it was stuff with DSR in it before the patch, is was just so much fun, and and they broke the gun. It still it still hurts me. It still hurts me. But yeah, so I got pretty lucky because this montage actually dropped just before they dropped the uh, patch, which uh, kind of slowed down the DSR. So I got kind of lucky there. But um, yeah, this is a Black Ops 2 montage, as you can tell. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. Uh, it's probably one of my most viewed montage. Well, I think it is the most viewed montage I've had, apart from like a first day ghost montage of my first day Monofair 3 one. This is, you know, the one that I put time and effort into. This is the most viewed one, which I think is, you know, it, it, it kind of works out. That triple is just probably one of my favorite things I've done. Like at the time, I think, um, well, let me just talk about this triple. Back to back amazing triples. This probably. It's, it's in my I hate being cocky, but in my eyes, that's probably one of the nicest triples you've ever seen. And I, I've ever hit and ever seen anyway, so... Yeah, I know, I've probably been a bit cocky, but it's it's a pretty nice triple, let's be honest. But before that, that uh, XPR clip was... I was actually... I think that was maybe a day before this came out. Maybe even two days. I can't remember, but I was trying to get XPR clips, and I'll, I'll go on to why in a second. But I hit that clip, and it was after Meerkat had already edited the opening section. And Seabus um, were like, you got to use that as the opener. That clip is ridiculous. But I was like, it's too late. Like, I've already edited all this together. And it just, it's just perfect. Well, I didn't edit it. But that switch thing as well, I, I just kind of, when I do these videos, I talk too slowly. And I kind of ramble too much. But yeah, that switch clip there with the red guns, where you alternate every kill, that was so lucky. Like, I literally was going for that for ages. Every time I did it, I got a split quad feed. That's all it was. Split quad feed, split quad feed. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to give up on this soon because it was getting frustrating. And then I ended up getting an on-screen fire, which is something I didn't expect to get. Um, but yeah, so I ended up using the... I just threw the XPR clip at the end, or almost at the end of the opening section. And the opening section was probably, like I said, one of my favorite things I've ever made, I've ever put together. Um, I don't know why, I just loved it. It was just... Perfect, I think. Really, really well put together. Look at that. That should have been... That was close to a, a, a five on all headshots, let's be honest. But apparently not. This clip... So many collats in one life. Back to back collats there. And then I run around the map for a bit. And end up getting back to back collats again. Which is just... I loved it. That was... <laughs> it was really hard to edit in, but Meerkat did a good job. But that was just a, a really nice clip. And I'm telling you, this DSR stuff... I kind of miss it too. I really do. But anyway, so... Let me tell you why I was using the XPR, because I used to, I used to hate it, I really did, I used to hate the XPR, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you used to watch my videos before this dropped, you, you knew that I hated that gun, I just, I, it was just weird, I couldn't get my shot on with it, and it was just, it was really weird to use, but after using it for like, I think a week straight, I absolutely started destroying with it, and uh, it was nice to, like, I've been looking back at my old videos, and that's why I got the idea to do this. And um, my XPR shot just became crazy good, and I, I hate to be cocky when it comes to stuff like this. It's just a video game, you know, You know, a lot of people are good at video games, but I, uh, I just feel like I put the time into it, and I just end up having a really good shot. And I just kind of destroyed that gun for uh, before example 4, because I had these little... Um, these little notepads, right? Uh, by the way, that triple I hit was on live stream. I think it was a row to a five, row to 150k live stream. I hit that as a single triple there. Another jump shot triple after you know after I shoot, which is weird. I don't know why I got two in one video. Uh, but yeah, so I, I uh, the reason I started using XPR was because of variety, and I'm sure you guys know that I'm all about variety. I loved. Uh, map variety, weapon variety, and um, that was kind of my thing. I've done it in most of my videos, and um, here's another great clip. This magma clip. Who hits this on magma? Back to back collapse there. Well, I think it could have been an on-screen six, but I'm not too sure. Well, it should have been because I hit the guy through the sign, and I went in theatre, and he was already hurt, and he took a sniper bullet through the sign, and, and still didn't die, which was dumb, because that would have been the most ridiculous clip I've ever hit in my life. Uh, on magma and I jump on top of a van. I don't know. But anyway, so the reason I, I keep kind of putting this up, but the reason I use the XPR 
is because I want a variety. And what I used to do, which I think I started to do in example 3, and this kind of shows you how weird I am when it comes to montage, just how kind of... How much thought I put into it. So I basically had a notepad file with all the li a list of all the Black Ops 2 maps, even the map pack ones. And um, I, if I got a clip that I really liked, I'd put a uh, I put a one next to it. So I got a clip on that map, and I would go through all my clips and I would make sure that I had a good amount of clips on each map, or at least one clip on each map. And then obviously stuff like standoff and uh, Nuketown and slums. I, I think with Nuketown I left over a couple of good clips. Uh, to put in example 3.5 because I didn't want too many new tank clips like I was really weird like that and um, That's one of the reasons I wanted more XPR clips because I did the same thing with guns So I had a list of each of the guns. I also had like a switch section and a red gun section and uh, I realized I was like wow I don't really have any XPR clips and I want them. I want more so I had like all these ballista all these DSR these red gun clips, and I just, and I think he, I think I even had like a headshot section, just to know how many headshot clips I had like that. That is just how I used to do it. I used to love doing that, and uh, it, it, it kind of, I think it kind of showed, you know, you could see how much map variety I've got in here. I think this bit right here, actually, while we're talking about it, is one of the bits I didn't like too much, because it was like slums, and then another clip, then slums, and then another clip, then slums, and it was like... For, for some reason it was too much slums for my liking, but everyone was like, no, you can't tell, like nobody cares, you know. So uh, I even tried to get a Mirage clip in here, that's why you got this red gun clip, and I, and I think that was kind of what I focused on. If I couldn't really get a clip on a map that I barely played, I tried to red gun on it to get one. And I think like Vertigo I got one, uh, a couple of red gun clips on there and stuff like that. So that was kind of my way around it, but I still was all about map variety. I can't remember how many maps I got in total. Um, I think it was maybe like 16, 17, or I, I can't remember. I'm sure someone can count. I'll let me know. But uh, this this clip right here is is uh, I think a lot of people like was that it? You know, he picked up a DSR and got a, a kind of quad feed. But I, I wasn't really about next live stuff. But but because it was so like right after, um, I just kind of destroyed and came up with a perfectionist with the DSR. I thought that that can go in there. That was really good. And I think uh, I kind of switched clips around too much for Meerkat. And um, this cinematic, I think he had to do like three times right there. It's actually a sick cinematic, and I think a lot of people have done it since then, where you kind of show the body and then spin around his dying body on another map. Like, so, so cool. And um, because I switched clips around so much, I was so picky about uh, like map placement and gun placement and all that stuff that I think he got fed up with doing that cinematic over and over again. But yeah, I was just, I just love putting these together, and I, I, I kind of miss. Obviously, putting montage together, but there's so much stress that goes on at the time, which uh, kind of I don't know. Is it is it worth it? Is it not? You know, you, you could never tell. But I, I think with this video, um, with example three and example five, you know, it was all worth it. All the time and effort and thought I put into it, you know, I they just got so much good feedback. So I want to talk about this closer really quickly. Like a lot of people said that wasn't a good clip, and I was thinking to myself at the time, I was like, oh, I should have got a better one. But then I thought about it, I was like, DSR headshot, collect headshot. And then an AK headshot for the quad headshot feed. That is insane in itself. And then it was a game winner. Like, why was I doubting myself? A lot of people were, like expecting something ridiculous. But, um, you know, it was just... I thought it was crazy. I thought it was a crazy good clip. But anyway, I've really enjoyed looking back at it, actually. I was going to talk about music a little bit and how I used Star Set for the first time and how they contacted me from their old band and, and all this stuff, but it's not really necessary towards a video, you could say. But I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about. I kind of rambled a little bit in the middle and I kind of lost track of where I was in the video, but I think it was good. I think you guys have hopefully enjoyed it. Uh, really nice to look back at it. If you want to watch it fully with all the music and everything without my boring voice in the background, I'll put a link in the description for you. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So if you want to suggest any other videos I can do this on, let me know. But if not, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.